Anyway, I got a piece of half-inch AR-500 uh, steel out there, and uh, in order to prove that it's AR-500, I'm going to shoot it with a 223 from a 16-inch barrel, and I obviously it's not going to do very much. And then I'm going to shoot the you know hyper velocity shit that I made for the wind mag. So this will be going uh, just under 3,000 feet per second, and I'll be going about 5,000 feet per second. Uh, yeah, just see how it goes. Okay, I'm shooting uh, three different types here. This is a 55 grain lead core. Then I'm shooting a 55 grain Hornady GMX. I think it's a gilding metal, which is harder than lead, obviously, and harder than copper. And then finally, I have a 50 grain monolithic solid copper. They say it's red copper. I don't know, maybe it's red copper, but yeah, those are the three types I'm going to shoot. I have one 55 grain full metal jacket just as a cider to get my offset correct this close up. And then I'll fucking fuck shit up. Okay, first one on the steel. Okay. I don't know where it went. Well, in a result that surprised exactly nobody, <laughs> uh, it punched a hole clean fucking through that. Can you see my finger there? Look at that. It's like it wasn't even there. Wow. Well, I mean, I'm already out here, and I already have the other two bullets that I think are more penetrating, so I'm going to test those out also. But the fact the first one went through means I gotta figure something else out. Something else to shoot. So, same idea. This one is the 55 grain Hornady GMX. Traveling at about 5,000 feet per second again. All right, I'm gonna assume there's a stability problem or something with the GMX, cause that, that wasn't even close. This one is the 55 grain solid copper projectile, monolithic, lathe turned, yada, 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 you know the drill. Okay, here it goes. Also nothing. As you can see, there's basically nothing there. Uh, this is, as I said, AR-500 steel. Like, TD3 damages it, but it doesn't destroy it. Um, anyway, this one I just shot somewhere in the center. Uh, then I shot the first full metal jacket at the first Sabode uh, 300 wood mag full metal jacket at a target that you know, my reticle basically told me that it shot 4 inch, 4 MOA left and 6 MOA down, so I used the reticle to compensate and put this one, this hole, this clean hole. This is half inch. Hold on, I'll prove it. Pulled calipers out. Okay, calipers. This is half inch. Come on. 
focus you fuck. Half inch. AR 500. And it punched clean through. Like it wasn't even there. That's crazy. Um, the second shot, the Hornady GMX, I, I did watch the video, the, um, I aimed at this one, and I did the same method, I did, uh, I held 4 MOA, uh, right, and 6 MOA up, and the bullet hit, as I'm sure you'll see, you saw on the camera, the bullet hit probably 6 feet in front of the target, hit extremely low, I'm gonna assume the GMX had stability problems or something. I mean, it happens. It it is a longer projectile than either of these two. Uh, and then for the last shot, I did the exact same hold, and it hit just on the edge here. So what I should have done is I should have made six instead of four, so I could do practice shots for the other two on the cardboard. But I kind of assumed they would all hit in the same general area, which clearly was my bad. So I'm going to repeat this test on uh, with the solid copper here and with the Hornady GMX bullets. You know, I think I'm really onto something. This, this is crazy. Look at that. Half inch. Like it wasn't even there. Like it wasn't even there. And they're going to go right through. I know both of them are going to go right through. If the lead, if the soft lead projectile can go through, then the much, much harder copper projectiles will go clean through this. So I'm attempting to find somebody who will give me a level 4 plate to test because uh, 30 out 6 AP has trouble doing this. So I think this is penetrating more, at close range at least, than 30 out 6 like M2 AP projectiles do. It's just it's crazy. And that's like that's like a solid hole. You know, that's a standard 223. And again, basically no damage at 3000 feet per second and then at 5000 feet per second. It's crazy. Yeah, that's a pretty good uh, example of how big that hole is. That is that is the 55 grain bullet that caused that hole. Okay, I can't pick it up. But it's just a 55 grain bullet there. Extremely small. And it caused that hole. Same bullet. Same 55 grain bullet in both of these. So this one was 3,000, this was 5,000. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking about it. I think I am going to retest this um, with the probably the two copper projectiles if I can well maybe maybe just the GMX because it's the hollow point. But the solid copper I know is going to perform better than the lead and the copper because it's solid copper. It's stronger than the lead. There's no way it it won't perform better. Whereas the GMX is a hollow point, and maybe that might fuck shit up. But I'm also going to test it with a standard uh, 190 grain uh, 300 wind mag, just so you don't think that, oh, well, a normal wind mag would have gone through. No fucking chance a normal wind mag would have gone through this plate. No way.